obvious. <laughs> this false certification, a person is guilty of a false certification. <laughs> If being an officer authorized to take a proof or acknowledgement of an instrument, yes, which by law may be recorded, he or she knowingly certifies falsely that the execution of such instrument was acknowledged by any party thereto or that the execution thereof was proved. False certification is a gross misdemeanor. Oh, now there's what's known as a false creation, yes, of a mental health directive. Ouch! Now, let's say the individual, yes, that did the mental health evaluation, were they an actual employee of Western State Hospital, Judge Porter? Yes. Or was it one of these that impersonated the actual employees? <laughs> now, when I sat there, I told the individual they had no jurisdiction to actually obligate me to a mental health evaluation <laughs> because you requested my presence in court <laughs> without any notice from the state of Washington <laughs> as if your dog had some sort of supreme authority over the United States of America. <laughs> Now, these false, oh, 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 creation of mental health advances, yes. Now, what, what is a mental health directive as defined as RCW 71.32.020? Is that similar to the RCW 10.77? Ouch! Now, I'd like to know. Phyllis, yes. When you decided to sit with Jack, yes. Was it Jack that called me on Brett Roberts' personal fucking phone call? Or was it Jack, the public defender, that was supposed to represent me? I can't fucking blow 